do that right first. Right first. Switch your hips when you walk and let down your hair. Down your hair. I like the way you do that right first. Right first. Lick your lips when you're talking. That make me stir. Make me stir. I like the way you do that right first. And I'm here today with an update on my Louis Vuitton handbag and the introduction of a new friend. So, uh, without further ado, let's move on to a, a progress report of sorts about my delightful MM, which was purchased in the fall. She's been doing great, and uh, these are some of the solutions that I've had for maintaining her shape. Because remember, she's got this big hobo shape that's kind of scrunchy on the bottom, but there's no, um, you know, no like boning or anything on, on the, uh, at the base. So, um, I purchased this, um, handbag shaper. No, it's not a shaper. It's not a shaper. It's a, um, purse organizer. And there's a couple of things around. This purse organizer is like, like this. We'll talk about this later. Um, it's just, you know, like that. And it's got, there we go, you can see more stuff in. And it's got all these little pockets to keep things like <laughs> your tape measure. Because sometimes, you know, you be measuring stuff when you're out buying stuff. You need to see if it's going to go in your house and whatever. And uh, matches, because... Somebody's always trying to light a candle or having a birthday or something. So yeah, that's about it for what's going on in here. Oh, or <laughs> you might need to just throw in a glass cocktail ring, you know? You might be like, I feel almost completely comfortable in this situation, but I think if I just put on a transparent piece of jewelry, it just bumped me up to that level where I need to be. I don't know what that's doing. I'm going to wear it. <laughs> Ah, I feel so much more appropriate. So, um, this is here. Um, I have a wallet. And um, I think for my new bag, I'm going to need to transition to my date night wallet, which is much more sleek. I mean, it would be if you didn't stuff it with crap. <laughs> but it's going to be necessary because it's a whole new thing with this bag. What other stuff fell out of this, too? Like a real handkerchief, because I'd be crying a lot, and um, <laughs> knit gloves. One knit glove. You just need one if you're going to, like, challenge somebody to a duel or something, right? <laughs> All you need. All you need. Just the one. And um, then this is my um, cosmetics case, and it is Le Sport Sac. Le Sport Sac. I don't know if you've ever seen... A la sports sack item before <laughs> because I'm French but I'm so sensible <laughs> it's like a wipe clean thing and this one actually has many like compartments and you can put your shimmer brick in there or whatever and sometimes I put like this is a, a rain poncho <laughs> that I'm gonna wear. I'll probably put it over the bag if she ever got in the rain. That's, I think that's why I put that in there. But in one of these little sides, I can put my cell phone, you know, like it can be by itself. Pens are jumping out, not touching anything else. Oh, there's my comb. And, uh, and then there's this little side thing too. So you can just put your cell phone in there, you know, if you're trying to just keep it where you can reach it easily. So the transition because, oh, wait a minute, she's in disarray. She's not ready for you. Talk amongst yourselves. She's unzipped. We cannot introduce her like that, not right off the bat. She needs a little warm up before she gets unzipped. Okay, so here is my Furla candy bag. How cute is that? It is made entirely out of rubber. I am so, it's hard for me to do, hard for me to do the mirror image thing when I'm looking at myself. I do it all the time in music class, but when I'm looking at myself, it's like a extra uh, uh, input that throws me off. Okay, so candy bag. See, there we go. This 
came down inside it. Some people said on Zappos.com that they didn't get this with it. Um, and then all they had to do was contact Furla, and Furla sent them one for free, as they should. Uh, this bag I ordered directly off the Furla website. I originally saw it in Dillard's, and um, I was super excited. About, I mean, it was just so cute. I just thought it was uh, the shape of it was so classic. However, the uh, material is just like so wackadoo. I just thought. That's, that's me, you know, that's how I want to represent myself. And um, because of the, uh, you know, wet weather issue uh, and our upcoming trip to England, I really wanted to have be able to change out handbags and have something that was going to work for me no matter what the weather was because I didn't want to be precious about uh, my handbag or anything. I want to go with the flow and have a good time. So uh, I thought, this is the answer. Uh, so anyway, I fell in love with this bag in Dillard's, but you know, I like to do my online thing and get my coupon codes and my deals and steals and everything. Um, I found several colors uh, of the same design at, in, in many places. Um, Bloomingdale's online, I think Neiman Marcus online, Zappos and Amazon.com. But, of course, I wanted this certain color, and this one I could only get on the Furla website. It's called Winter Rose. There uh, there were other um, blendy kind of colors, you know, blush, nudie type of colors. Um, but this is just the exact combination of um, coolness and um, pinkiness that I just knew was going to do it for me. Ah. Oh. So here she is. Um, so let's put some things inside and see what happens because uh, one of the concerns that you might be having already is like, Christine, I'm not sure this bag has the opacity that you're looking for. Can't you see right through this handbag? Well, yes, kind of. There are some models of the, I'm just going to put this in. There are some models of the, um, Furla candy bag that are transparent like jello, but some of the colors, this one for example, um, has a, a milky quality to it that makes it so um, you can see the stuff, but you can't totally see the stuff. Um, so it's okay because the material that it's made out of anyway, I wanted to make sure that I had only like white clean type of surfaces, nothing that might possibly distribute any color or, um, I don't know, just be weird. So I, I, I knew from the get-go that I was going to place my La Sportsac cosmetics bag inside there. And see, like, from here, you can't really even see it at all, but if I turn it upside down, you can see it. And then maybe she's kind of, it's kind of leaning on this side a little bit more. You see, you can't, really can't tell from this angle. And let me put some more stuff. Did I... I have my, where's my date night, there we go, it's my date night uh, wallet when I'm trying to have a small bag. But I just don't want to put this, and I'm going to put her just to the side there, I don't want to have this hobo bag in there because it just seems real heavy, you know, and with all this metal, I just don't want to scratch, scratch the rubber, so that's what I decided to do. Can you see the wallet in there? Just barely, you can just see a hint of that blue it's on this side. So you can see that there are things in there. I mean, that's the intent of the bag. I think it's got a certain cool factor that, um, you know, it acknowledges, yes, you can see my stuff in my bag, but, um, you know, quit looking at it. <laughs> um, this side zip, see there are two little thingy dings there, has a lock on it, and all you have to do is pull it to make it go. I'm just, I'm not going to lock it. I'm just going to keep it like that. Burglars. <laughs> but burglars, it's going to be locked at all times. <laughs> Friends, it's not really locked. Okay, so let's uh, imagine scenarios with the bag because this is really the best part of getting something new. So let me get myself situated here. So because this bag is going with me on our trip to England, I gotta think of it in travel scenarios. So, 
although I will be traveling with my two children, I will probably only be holding one of them at a time. So I will probably have George down here. Uh, the nature of this bag, you know, it means that it must be carried this way or this way, granny style, which is actually kind of cute, I think. Mm, I don't know what to do here. Oh, I'm not comfortable. But um, this is the way that I'll be carrying it and one child down there. I just, you know, you don't need a strap with this kind of thing. I just don't even want to talk about that. I really thought I needed a bag with a strap, but whatever. We'll, we'll move on because I'm trying to trying to press through. It's already uh, 10 and a, and a half minutes and I'm just like, oh, I know that 12 minutes is y'all's max. So um, anyway, things that might happen, uh, running, running through the airport because this kind of running is not really, you know, to go fast. It's just like, oh, slow down. I'm working so hard here. And then people go, oh, bless her heart. Let's just you know, stop the plane <laughs> or whatever. Um, and uh, will I ever use this arm? Sometimes I might be reaching for something over here. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. I believe it's our turn. I might do something like that. Really, it's going to be over here. Even though my right hand is my dominant hand, I think I could do more stuff with this one while it's uh, otherwise encumbered. So. And now for the best pose, waiting impatiently. Oh, no, wait. First, let's do just waiting nicely. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. Can you see the whole thing? Do I need to move this down a little bit? Let's try it. Ooh. Let's see what happens there. Might be too. It might be too far down now. Let's see. How's that? Is this better? Waiting nicely. This thing is totally in the way. Waiting nicely. Ah, oh, I'm so glad to be here. No, y'all go first. We're fine. Okay, and then we transition to waiting impatiently. You gotta do a lot of sighing there. That's the kind of waiting that you do, like right before somebody just comes over and completely solves your problem. Oh, man, I'm take you over here. That's all that is for. Just to let people know I'm a little bit uncomfortable and it's time for you to address me. You know, fix me. And that's what they do, you know, when you're in, you know, in the hospitality situation. You sounded kind of like a jerk. You know, when it's, oh, ma'am, may I bring you a cup of coffee while you wait? That just makes people want to do nice things for you. When you look nice, but just a little bit a little bit like it's hard, you know. They don't want you to be upset in their hotel or in their restaurant. They want you to have a good time. That's what, you know, business is all about. And then when they say, oh, here we go. So then when they, when you go, hmm, I'm sure we should have been seen by now. You know, then they say, oh, ma'am, ma'am, please bring you a cup of coffee while you wait. And you say, oh, yes. Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. And then that's when you, um, Put the bag on its little rubber feet. See? Because she can go on the floor or, um, you know, next to you in a chair, in her own chair, or um, she can go on the floor. I think I'm going to put her, like, when we go to a restaurant, I think I'm going to put her, like, this, this way, slightly under my chair, and my feet like this on either side. Sure you can see. So she'll be like that, and my feet will be like this on either side of her. Okay? That's my that's my plan, and I'm sticking to it. Am I sticking to it? I think so. I'll let you guys know after the trip. <laughs> Thank you once again for watching a video about handbags. But um, you guys are so sweet because I had friends that were saying, oh, you know, make a video about the bag. I don't know if y'all are laughing at me, or I'm sure you're laughing with me. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you again for indulging me. If you watch this, if you're still here, I love you. You're really, you are really my total best friend and my favorite. Don't let anybody tell you any different. 14 minutes. I'm going to add three minutes. I love you.